Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial we'll be using GIMP 2.10 to create some artwork which is similar to Andy Warhol. So let's take a look at our web browser and we're going to be creating some artwork similar to this and we're using the gimmick plugin that I showed you how to install in my previous tutorial. So the first thing we want to do, let's open up a new tab and we will go to uh, download this image. So let's go ahead and download this picture. So I've got this picture here. I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description and we'll drag and drop that into the um, folder here and we'll go ahead and open up GIMP software. So we've got GIMP open here and we'll drag and drop the picture into GIMP. So here, here's the image here and we're going to create that sort of posterized sort of style with multiple boxes we can easily do that using the gimmick plugin so i showed you how to install this plugin in my previous tutorial and i've also showed you how to install the latest version of gimp if you've not done that before i'll put some links in the youtube description showing you how you can install the latest version of gimp and this gimmick plugin as well so we'll go ahead and click on the gimmick plugin and it will load up here i'm just going to click full screen here right so if it loads like this you can click here to make it full screen and then we're going to go to artistic here and we're going to look for Warhol which is here so we'll click on that plugin and then you can see the sort of style that we're getting which is similar to the artwork I showed you previously so you can play around with the colors here you can have them quite bright and vivid or you can tone them down depending on what you want you can experiment with this and get some nice sort of design and artwork for an artwork project maybe you're working on some graphic design projects and you want to get this sort of style rather than photoshopping it to do this um not photoshop but using gimp to cut one of these images out to crop it out and then to do all this colorization will take a fair bit of time so using this plugin you can do this very very quickly you can create some nice you know some nice artwork maybe for a project that you're working on maybe it's a front cover for a magazine or something that you're doing some poster or something like this you can create some nice artwork quite quickly like this so you can play around with the tile settings you can set it to 4x4, four four. you can leave it at 3x3 three three if you want. I think 3x3 three three is pretty good. This kind of works well, quite well for me. You can change the smoothness right now, it's set to 2. So if you increase that, you'll get more of like a smooth edge, but that doesn't look too great. So we'll leave that set to its default value 2. I'm not going to play around with this much. Normally what I do is just set the colors, try and find a color palette that I like. Something like this looks pretty cool. And then we just go ahead and click the apply button and let the software do the work for us. And that's all done so it looks a bit strange in there. it looks like it's got many tiles in here but when you go ahead and click the ok button in, in a gimp software you'll actually see the image like this so that's how it actually looks like in the end in the actual uh, gimp software now you can go ahead and create some more layers and do some text overlays or do whatever you want after this you can add some more effects to it if you like but i kind of like it as it is just nice plain and simple and if this was a piece of artwork maybe the inside cover of a magazine or a brochure that you're doing or something like this or some digital artwork that you want to showcase this is quite a nice quick way to get this sort of effect um, with a simple few mouse clicks right let's go to file export as and we'll go ahead and export this and we'll call it uh, just call it Warhol image-01 it's kind of in his style he's quite a famous artist uh, let's click export and let's click export again and then we'll close down GIMP and we can see that so here's our original image here and here's the new updated version of that image side by side so we've taken this image from Unsplash and we've brought that into GIMP and we used the gimmick plugin and we've used that particular effect within that plugin to create this posterized square box artwork very very simple very very quick to do and this is quite a high resolution image as we zoom in here we'll see that the image is pretty high res and it won't pixelate too much so you can really zoom in here and get some nice effects you can use this in some sort of video production so if you're using some video production doing some video graphic work or something like that you could work with these images in there as well. You could do some pretty cool stuff, right? So let's close this all down. That's how you go about creating that Warhol artwork style. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Go and experiment with it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.